Hello my Dottie family and welcome back to part 2 of this detailed rock. If you haven't seen part 1 for the structure, please go and check out that video. Else we are ready to get started. Now for my first dot, I'm going to be using the grey needle, uh, the big one. And I'm lucky enough that I don't need to re-bottle my paint, they just it onto the tips like so which is very convenient for me and our center dot actually is so I'm shaking all of the paint down so that you don't have to squeeze like a lot extra in order to get it out so that's basically almost there and you just need to add a little bit of pressure And what I'm doing is I'm just squeezing a lot of paint because I want to fill out this inside circle. You can even go around in the circle. And unfortunately, with these needles, bubbles. Hey, bubbles are not your friends. But what I'm doing now is I just I'm squeezing out a lot of paint and then I'm just pressing it so that it expands on the sides and that will automatically create me a nice round circle like so now for the washing of this let me show you what I do I've got my little bowl of water and I've got my syringe so I just add the water to my syringe and then I flush out some of the paint like that now not all of the paint is coming out as you can see some of it is stuck right in there and that's why I'm just gonna let it soak until I need to rinse the next needle and then I'll show you guys what I do from there again Next up, we're going to take our thick needles to dot with, and I'm going to take my next color. And for this, you really need like only minuscule amounts, like so. We're going to be using fractions of this amount. going to make a dot as close as we can possibly get without touching and we're going to do every maybe that's a bit bigger every second so in every second gap so we between the lines but between every second one so like that Now to give me extra stability, I'm just putting my one hand here and then I'm resting my other hand on top of that one. Then we're going to go one size bigger, so we're going to use our yellow one, the small ball side, and move up to the next color. Which is my glow orange. And then we're going to dot in the alternate spacing. So if your dot comes out smaller than the other ones, just load up some extra paint because they need to be slightly bigger.
Then we're going to move on to the all ball side and the next color which is this one here which is low fire and we're going to do alternate spacing again Okay, so next I'm going to be using my green needle tool and then my next color. And then between those two chalk lines, so the circle lines, I'm going to squeeze until my dot runs. So it's just before, it stops just before those two straight lines, okay? So if this one is here, right? then it means that section number one, two, three, and then in section number four, you're going to make the next one. Like so. So this is one, two, three, four. Make the next one. And you can see this paint, this pink paint of mine is quite runny. So I'm stopping, so it still has space to expand so that it doesn't interlock with the previous dot. So you have to be aware of how runny your specific color is. Um, and that you can always test out on a paper before you start. So if you test it out and you just put a little, just one dot then just see how much it expands so that you can plan around that so that your dots don't fuse. So I see that you know, my section doesn't quite work out. So the last one, I just kind of dotted in the middle and um, those numbers didn't really work out. I suppose to skip an extra one, but it's okay. It's all right. We can work around that. And then also I see that it expanded so it actually touched that previous dot there. But I'm not worried about that. I'm going to show you later when that's dry how to clear that up. Then I just need to wash this. So I quickly want to show you guys here. Okay, so I'm just going to pull in and then squeeze out some water here. Pull some more in and then I'm going to swap the needle with the new one that I need to rinse. Oh, I see there's a dry piece of paint in here. It's not going to go through the nozzle. There we go. Like so. And then that yellow paint that is stuck in there at the bottom. I'm just going to, as I squeeze the water, I'm just basically squirting the paint clean. Because now it's also soaked. So it will be easier to remove. And that's now nice and clean. And then I just blow them out <laughs> when it's clean. And then this one I just need to also let that soak now for the next round. So I basically just swap them out every time. <laughs> okay, for the next round I'm going to be using my Glow Magenta. And we're going to use the all ball side again. So the big ball side on the pink tool. And just outside, because those bubbles are now running, or those dots are now running on the inside of that circle. So just on the outside of the circle, I want a dot on each and every single straight line. So that's going to give us about 40 dots because we have 40 sections like that. And now we're going to do the same thing. So just like we made those bubbles there. So I just quickly want to, I'm, even, I'm just going to use this one, the gray one on my next color. So on the intersection, I'm going to make a dot. About the same size we made those dots over there. Then I'm going to skip one, two, three lines and then do another one.
So three lines open in between each dot. The thing about this paint as well is, or the dots, is you can always add extra, but it's really hard to take back the paint that you've already added. So you can always start with small amounts and then work your way up to get the dots exactly the size that you need them to be. Moving on to my next color, and then I'm going to use my blue needle. Now, these are quite tricky. This is also a lot of paint control and pressure control. But what I want to do is create small little dots. So basically, as soon as the paint comes out, I want to dot them. And as you can see, depending on how much paint you put out, the dot size can vary. So I'm just going to get to a point where, like there, I can see how much paint is on the tip. And I think there's now a air bubble in there. Yeah. Like I said, air bubbles are not your friend when it comes to this. So I want them around about that size. So the best way for me to, to hold my bottle is when I'm doing this is I'm putting this hand so I can control exactly where it should go and this hand is squeezing the paint so I'm gonna make a dot at the bottom first like so and then work my way up And then the same thing on the other side. Like so. So unfortunately I've got a bit of dot melding there. And that I'll sort out a little bit later. I see this paint is quite runny. Okay, let's do another one. So we're going to start on the straight line down here. Let's just add like less paint. Yeah, I think I should just make the dots a bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe that up. So unfortunately it's not as easy. So I'm just going to take one of my tools and then wipe up I'm just going to do the whole thing wipe up as much as I can possibly get doing this with a brush uh, you don't want your brush hairs <laughs> To get a hold of this surface and to get those bubbles and then just with black paint so obviously i need a lot less paint as you can see it's a little bit of a mission to clean it up Such delicate work. All right. So something else I just did there is I saw that when I fix it with black, I bumped some of the black paint onto this <laughs> dot here. So I just fixed it up on the side with that color and then I just quickly did the other dots around it again. All right, so without rinsing the needle, we're going to move on to the next color, okay? Which in my case is this one here. And 
What's really cool is you can just squeeze it until you see that your previous colors paint is out. So I go like that until I see this color come out. There we go. And now I can use it. And then I'm going to do another layer um, of dots. So just starting here. And this paint is actually way thicker. So it doesn't flow as much, which is great. Okay, I quickly want to show you guys how I'm going to fix that molded petals there. I'm going to take my really, really thin needle and I'm going to dip that in black. And then I'm just going to divide them into like so. And that will create the illusion that they are not molded. So with the white pencil, you're going to go in as far as you possibly can. Now bring that out so you're going to draw a triangle first like that and then here you're just going to draw a round piece like that and that will form the teardrop so i'm just going to wipe this one out and you just draw another one there you go just to make them look right so triangle and round. Then I'm going to grab my big needle, so the grey one, and my next colour of paint, which is blue. And now I'm going to start filling it. I'm going to drag this up, create a sharp point, and then down here I'm squeezing the paint out as I'm forming this teardrop shape. So just sticking to the lines. There we go. Like that. And then the next one. So just something more that I'm doing here is, so this is real time. <laughs> so I'm pushing it up there. And then when I get the sides, I use the paint itself to push out to the sides because it just gives a more even line than when you're actually using the tip to form the outside line because your hand is unstable so it gives an uneven line and when you use the paint to spread it gives you a more even line like that okay Something else I've also noticed here is that these dots of mine are deflating. Um, I, will, I, I didn't know that I <laughs> uh, they would deflate. So usually you would add some acrylic medium to this to make sure that the puffiness stays. So I'm just going to leave that a little bit longer. And then I'm just going to top dot that with a different color just to take that away. So if you have that problem as well, then you know that you, you need to add some acrylic medium to your paint. And that will give it body and then the body will stay so for my next one i'll just add it to that color because now i know i'm going to use my next color which is almost like a turquoise and i'm going to use my green tip for this one now if your line test it first if your line comes out too thick then you want to use a smaller needle 
but I've already tested this one. Now what I want to do is I want to go from this intersection here all the way to the bottom of the teardrop. So I want to draw almost like a little hanging piece. So it's going to go round from there all the way up there. As you can see, my needle is not touching the surface. It's basically dragging the paint out in the air. So from this point here, you can see I'm holding it up in the air and letting it drag and connecting those two points. And I'm going from the bottom here all the way up connecting it there very slow process very precise process as well <laughs> so just carry on with this um, it does take some practice but but you'll get it you'll definitely get it Right, um, then I'm using that color, so my magenta, to quickly just top dot these ones. So I'm using the green needle again, and I'm just top dotting those. First one's got a little bit too much paint. Now I can see that some of them are not covering those little dimples. So I'm just going to use my super fine, fine, fine needle and just drag the paint to cover that. All right, that looks pretty good. And then sticking, sticking with the top dotting, I'm going to use my green one again. And with my glow fire, so in other words, that color there, I'm going to top dot the pink one, so the one just before it. Make really... Tiny dots. Okay, so sticking to my green tip and I'm moving on to my green paint. I'm going to make a dot right here in this little space. So on that straight line all the way around all right i think we've done pretty well with this one so far i'm going to continue in the next video i'll see you guys in the next part stay dotty stay magical keep well bye bye every single day